man oh man so coming in to the main event if you guys mm -hmm. haven't checked out my interview with stitch it's starting to really really go bonkers when it comes to views so definitely check that out but we are about to hear from bernie of his take on the main event tim zoo versus fondoro walk me through it well i learned this thing i learned that first they should have got out of the fight before the fight got started good. That gas was lean. It, they could never stop it. So he was fighting the blood in his eye and trying to keep an eye on this guy. So kudos to him for that. But they should have stopped the fight. I know they had a lot of money on the line. It is, but that was a that was a a, a freak accident. You know, he again fell over himself. Which if he'd have kept composed, he wouldn't have fell over himself. He wouldn't have hit his elbow, but he did. Then, which we ain't perfect in boxing, but he fell over himself and hit the man with the elbow. So once it was be bleeding so profusely, he should have stopped the fight before they could render a verdict. Before it even get past the four rounds where they can render a verdict, because you just never know. It was bleeding too bad. That's how I would have took it. But he took the fight and kept going. He was a soldier for that. You understand? And, uh, and 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 that's what that was. But he never threw enough another left hooks. Mendoza knocked the man out with a left hook. He never threw left hooks. He went constantly into the man's power hand the whole time. He was going to the right the whole time. He never stepped left, and he never threw no too many left hooks. He should have been throwing left hooks. He kept landing that right hand or at least close, but he never threw no fucking hooks. If he'd have threw the hook to the bite to the head, he probably would have stopped that man. But he never threw no hooks. So two is limited in that aspect. And it was a good fight. And I think they definitely should should do it again. Even though it wasn't like Fendora was defensing and he caught up, threw the elbow up and he ran into it. It was really all on Zoo. It was Zoo's fault. But you know, I think he I think he deserved a rematch. Do you feel like uh the cut is the reason why he lost? I definitely no no I won't say this reason why he lost, but it definitely it was bothersome. You understand? Because because he always is wiping his face in a split second in boxing. A split second, you wipe trying to wipe your face and trying to block a punch. So you always got that nagging on you the whole time. The blood steady trickling out. So you now, so you got to think about that too, along with this puzzle, along with you trying to figure out how to beat this guy. So yeah, I think that had a I think that Fendora boxed good. I think he didn't he didn't fall into no traps. But I still think at the same time he didn't throw no hooks to get Fendora in no trouble. If he would have threw more hooks, we would have probably seen Fendora in trouble. He'd have had more success. Bro, he never threw the hook. He wouldn't throw the hook to the body. He wouldn't throw the hook to the head. And I'm trying to tell him, I say, well, they said, well, I know even if it's just a range finder, if I touch his elbow or his arm with my hook, his head is right there. He did. He never. He never used the hook, man. He never used the hook. And Brian Mendoza knocked him out with the hook. That's what stopped him was the hook. Then he mm -hmm. looped hand right hand him and put him down. He stunned him with the left hook first. Then when Fendora stumbled back, he looped him with the right hand. If I'm not mistaken, if he didn't hit him with another hook, and then he looped him with the right hand. You throwing right hands, but you never throw the hook, bro. Never. So, yeah, you know, Fendora, he was open for the hook the whole time. The ne man never throw the hook to terrify him. But it was an entertaining fight. And I think Zoo deserved, he deserved, he deserved a shot. He deserved a rematch for sure. Because he lost he, in a close fight too. So do you believe that also that him coming um, in with one shot instead of a combination is due to the, the 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 cut as well, like you know, just not I, letting like the other said, hand go. The uh, no, 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 no. I still think he would have. He still wouldn't have threw no hooks because I don't think his IQ is up to that level. You know, like I say, he's building. So you don't think after that he's right hand, he wasn't gonna follow up with no hook, regardless. No, I don't think he would have did that regardless. I don't think he would did did that regardless. You know, uh, because. Fendora stood in box with him too. Like I said, he gave him that chance to throw that hook, but he never threw the hook. 
And then Fandora got smart and kept him outside and touched him, touched him with little punches, didn't try to load up and boxed him. You know, kept him, knew he had that, he had to wipe that face. So every time he's wiping that face, I'm throwing punches. Fendora did good. Like you say, I've been working on it one whole year to box. But Fendora, in the, in the middle of a trade, he, re- he was open for the left hook. But the man never throw the left hook. Mm-hmm. And thank God for Fendora. Thank God, Fendora, thanking God that he didn't throw the left hook. <laughs> and yo, F- Fendora knew better to throw them up because this this fight too, huh? Uh, what, he, what, he's landing the uppercut? Nah, or he said he, he did. He didn't he, throw them. He, he wasn't trying to throw them. That you know, that's his favorite punch. Oh, he kept he kept him on the outside. He yeah. kept him on the outside. Other than the side, the couple punches that they did trade, but Zoo never threw the hook. So, shout out to Fendora. You know, he did an excellent job, and Keeping you know, I think he deserves a rematch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't so mad did, at him. So you did see adjustments at least coming from the Fendora side of things as well. Yeah, yeah. I think he, yeah, he 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 boxed smart when he knew that. When he knew that a boy was comp was uh, limited, I think that helped him to like stay. You know, like almost you see a gash over a person's eye, so you just keep tagging that, keep tagging that, keep tagging it. You know, that's something to to memorize you that you got something ahead of him. You know what I mean? And he, and that was a good reminder. So shout out to Fendora. You know what I'm saying? He did everything he's supposed to do. Zoo didn't throw no hooks, and I don't know what he can do better, but uh, maybe, maybe. So I mean, first two rounds before you know the this gash happens though, you know there is success from you know uh, Zoo. Uh, yeah. Talk about that success as well because I mean I think that's people yeah. are not really looking at the details of a rematch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I, you know, like I said, he was in the fight too so early. He was he so too early. It it, it was it was a. Uh, 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 like I say, the fight was a good fight. The whole fight, you know what I mean. The fight, you know, regardless of the blood that made it look more gory, and Fendora was busted up too. He was bleeding out his nose and his mouth a lot. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah. So, so uh, besides it being bloody, it still was a good fight. I say they they deserve a good. It deserve a good fight for him putting on that performance, coming off a knockout loss, and sue everything he's done and the fight through that. He deserve a shot. He deserve a rematch. They deserve a rematch. Yeah. So at all in all, you know, Amazon Prime kind of put on a really great show if you if you really think about it. We got a yeah. suspense at the end wanting a rematch at the end of this as well. We, you we, said we what have now? Like, we have suspense at the end of this. We we have a uh, uh, yeah. question still. We still have questions. Yeah. 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 Most and definitely. That leads for great money. Most definitely. Yeah. And, and you know, yeah, and 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 the things that lead after that, you know, you got the big dogs, they waiting on the bigger guys, you know what I'm saying, after that. And so, yeah, definitely, I, I agree wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly. 